I'm Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian, and I am really excited to teach you guys about cat diets and the four specific nutrients that they absolutely need in their diet so that they don't develop life-threatening diseases. So here with me is my beautiful cat model, Stella, and Stella can't go without the first nutrient, which is taurine, in her diet for heart and vision development because cats cannot produce taurine on their own. They need this essential amino acid ready and available to use through their diet, which they get it through meat. That's why cats need high levels of protein and fats in their diet compared to our canine friends. Without the proper levels of taurine in a cat's diet, they will develop retinal degeneration and go blind. So if an owner starts to feed their cat dog food for six months or even a year or less than that, cats can start to develop blindness, be wobbling, bumping into things at the house, and they make an appointment with me saying something is off with their cat. And later on, I figure out that the cat has been eating the dog food and they're not getting the right nutrients. And cats who are deficient in taurine will develop DCM or dilated cardiomyopathy, which you usually see in dogs. Cats normally don't develop DCM. So this heart disease is more specific to dogs. And when we see it in cats, the first thing we think of is their diet. And you're probably thinking, well, is my dog gonna get this if they don't have enough taurine? And no, because dogs can synthesize taurine and make it readily available for them through their own diets. So why do cats like fish so much? There's a huge marketing industry around cats and fish, and this is gonna make sense to you now. Why they love mackerel and salmon and tuna. And that is because, unlike dogs, cats cannot create arachidonic acid through other omega-6s like linoleic acid like dogs can. Cats need to ingest arachidonic acid in its preformed state through their diet. So what is this alien terminology you're telling us, Dr. Lindsay, arachidonic acid, and why is this so important? And let me tell you, so they need this for fetal development, skin health, for their tissue clotting cascade, for platelet aggregation, blood cell function. Without arachidonic acid, their mechanism for tissue injury and repair is going to be off, and these cats are just not going to appear healthy. So omegas in a cat's diet through fish ingestion is so important. Isn't that mind blowing guys? I literally love that. So now when we go through a pet food aisle at our local grocery store and we see all these fish things for cats, we know why now. Arachidonic acid, they need it in their diet. The third thing that cats can't live without is vitamin A. So unlike our dogs, again, who can convert beta carotene into vitamin A through their omnivorous diet, cats cannot. And where are they gonna get this vitamin A? Again, fish and meat, bringing us back to why cats are obligate carnivores. These meat eaters, these pumas, these tigers in the forests here eating meat and fish. So what happens when they don't have vitamin A in their diet? They'll develop dry eye and cats can get corneal ulcers and painful eyes to the point where they can actually lose their vision. So it's super important for cats to have vitamin A in their diet. And this last one is my favorite. You can even quiz your husband or your girlfriend on this one. And that is vitamin D. Cats cannot convert sunlight into vitamin D. I absolutely love this argument because I even have my own clients come in saying, doesn't my cat need to go outside to experience sunlight hitting their skin for calcium absorption and bone health by getting vitamin D from the sun? And the answer is no. Cats cannot synthesize vitamin D through their skin from sunlight like dogs and humans can. They need to get it from their diet. And again, I sound like a broken record. They're gonna get all this from meat and fish. Isn't this amazing, guys? 
cats can literally live indoors their entire life and still make it to 25 years old and beat out our canine friends without ever having to see the sun. The Egyptians even called cats the guardians of the underworld. How cool is that? All right, guys, I hope you learned so much in this video about why cats need their own specific diet formulated by veterinary nutritionists so that they can live a happy and healthy life or they can pretty much live underneath in the sewers living off rats and fish that are down there if there's any fish. Like always guys, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to get notifications for when I post new videos, and hit the thumbs up to help my videos circulate. Please also leave a comment below about your cat.